Pastor Oyediko's son Isaac had reportedly left Winners Church to start a new ministry. Hi guys, welcome back to Trending Gist. Isaac left his position as the Living Church Worldwide Global Youth Pastor in order to launch his own ministry. After that, the revelation went viral on social media. Many pointed out that the clergyman's son is hoping to leverage ministry, which has grown to be a successful venture, to launch his own. The news that Isaac Oyedepo, the son of Living Faith founder, Pastor Oyedepo, is leaving his father's church to launch a new ministry has, has netizen reacting widely. To this end, Isaac Oyedepo has said, my God-given mandate is to reclaim a generation and to ensure that this generation sees the fire of God's revival in our generation. After that, the revelation went viral on social media, with many pointing out that the clergyman's son is hoping to leverage the ministry, which has grown to be a successful venture, to launch his own. Reacting to this, one Emmy wrote, Business people. Another person has reacted, generational business enterprise. Another said, no issue at all. If for say them make him the successor, everybody for shout, family business. Now nah, him don't go open his own. Make people rest now. The good news must spread abroad. Another said, I be think say now nah, God they call them. Another said, this shouldn't be an issue. My papa get company, no means say, I just remain there. He has a calling. He probably needed to make that step to fulfill his calling. Another person has said, nest of kin, no congre wait again. Another said, church business is good business. Another person has said, church is business organization. Fela said it. And one thing he said, Feb, it also do same now. Church of God mission unusual. Word of faith group of school and Nathan America Academy. Everybody must not inherit their parents' church. Another said, everybody has different calling. This shouldn't even be an issue. Another has said, as the papa no greed die, income make another investor's move. Hmm, this person, you are harsh. Another said, man need access to the other, but them still they give him salary for the family business. Another said he has waited so long for his father to die, but the man is still too strong. Ah, this one is harsh. Another said, and Una say if I no pay tight, God no go bless me. Una de wine. Another said, as per he knows he is gonna make money. Business as usual. Pastor Isaac Oyedepo is the second son of the international icon, Pastor Oyedepo. He and his elder brother David Jr. We are ordained as pastor in May 2007 by Kenneth Copeland. Isaac is married to Ayomiti Day Oyedepo and their union is blessed with four children. Guys, if he had decided to establish a new ministry, I don't really see anything wrong there. He must not be under his father's own. Like one commenter said, he needs to spread the word. So guys, moving away from that, still on church issues, Chef Dami Pastors reportedly sued her for 120 million following public outcry. In an unexpected move, the founder of Spirit World Global Ministry, Prophet Jeremiah Adejoke, has filed a lawsuit against Chef Dami. Pastor Adejoke, Chef Dami's pastor, has slammed a 20 million naira lawsuit against her. Only a few days ago, the chef went public with some facts regarding the pastor who had sponsored her cook at home and attempt to break Ida's Basi record. In her most recent post, she warned the world that her life was in danger and that she would hold her pastor accountable if anything happened to her. The pastor voiced his amazement at what he perceived to be a defamatory statement made by the chef in a petition submitted by his lawyer. He has demanded for a retraction of the libelous statement and is being asked to pay the sum of 20 million naira for damages. Hmm. Guys, church wahala, pukatong wahala, in a bid to win over the Guinness World Records from Idabasi. See, waiting, Chef Dami compute himself for pastor hand. Seriously, 120. Did they even get the money from the pukatong that they did before?
Hmm. Guys, wonders they say shall never end. Seriously. She had Dami in a bit to let the people know what had gone wrong between her and her pastor. It was revealed that Dami has disagreed with her pastor and the spirit world mission. Chef Dami's freedom was taken away after the cook had sung according to an article that was published by the Foundation for Investigative Journalism. According to her, her phones and social media passwords were maintained by the church which she disagreed with. A source from the church told the Foundation for Investigative Journalism that she was restricted as her phone and ATM card were with the organizers of the cook at song. A lot of people couldn't reach her by phone calls and she couldn't reply her social media messages also. She personally told the source that she wasn't enjoying her life or herself anymore and that she wanted to go back to her previous life where she had her freedom. The problem started when after the 120 hours cook at song had ended because there were some flubs Chef Dami's church started preparing for a new one, in which Chef Dami has disapproved of. Because this did not go down well with her, she was yet to recover from the first one, and they are planning for another. Una won't kill the girl in a bid to get Guinness World Book record. Dami didn't want to do another cook at tongue, as she was even yet to recover from the one she had just finished. Her family also immediately rejected that proposal, which got the church organizers angry. Dami's family was unhappy to hear about the new cook at Tong and reported the matter to the Ekiti state government. The church was summoned and asked to release Dami's phone and social media password to her. Things got worse when Dami transferred 700k to her family as according to the source. This marked a severe turning point in the crisis between the chef and the pastor. According to the church source, some of us in the church who had listened to both sides didn't join the church to hate Dami as they wanted. While we were still looking for the way forward, they heard that Dami had transferred 500000 to her mom and 200000 to her elder brother out of the 1.2 million in her own account the church became angry guys what do you think about this chef dami and her pastors wahala like seriously cook her tongue don't turn another thing guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you enjoy watching don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and also if you have not subscribed before don't hesitate to click on that subscribe button and then on the post notification bell so you always get notified each and every time a new and hot trending gist drop in this channel thank you guys for watching i do appreciate you share this video out if you can it's trending gist i'll be back soon with another one until then bye bye for now